Hey y'all, today we are making a pot roast in a mushroom gravy, some guna mashed potatoes, and some blistered garlic green beans. Honey, we cooking, cooking today. Come on, let's go ahead and go over these ingredients. Now first I have a two and a half pound chuck roast. I love chuck roast because it got some fat on it. Come on. I got five cloves of garlic that have been minced, and I also have one large onion that I went ahead and sliced up for you. I like to get a big onion because I really like that flavor. Now I have eight ounces of baby Bella mushrooms. These have more flavor than the white mushrooms, so go ahead and get these. I have two cans of cream of mushroom. One of them is the shiitake mushroom one. This is so good. If you can get it, get it. But if you can't, you better still make this recipe. I have two tablespoons of butter and one packet of beefy onion soup mix. For my spice blends, I am using a half of a tablespoon of garlic pepper, a half of a teaspoon of rosemary, one teaspoon of onion powder. I'm also going to be using one teaspoon of garlic powder, a Tea, half a teaspoon of white pepper and one teaspoon of dried thyme. Notice that all these seasonings are salt free. There is plenty of salt in the mushroom packets and the soup mix. Okay. Now for starters, I am going to cut up my chuck roast into four pieces. I like cutting up the chuck roast into large chunks because I think it makes it cook a little quicker and get a little bit more tender in the time you're going to be cooking it. So just follow the natural marbling on the chuck roast and get four relatively large pieces. At this point, we're not going to season it yet. We're going to do that after we brown it. Now I had a oven safe dish heating up um, on medium high heat and I'm going to put in some olive oil and the butter. Then I am going to brown this meat on each side for about three to four minutes without moving it. Now I am not going to put on the seasoning yet because I don't want that seasoning to burn. But I want a lot of flavor from the caramelization that you can get from browning the meat. So that's why you're going to see me brown this without any seasoning at all. But trust me, you're still going to get all the seasoning and flavor you want into this meat. Now make sure you also brown them edges too because them edges got flavor, okay? Now take out those pieces, put them to the side, and we're going to start caramelizing the onions as well as the mushrooms. I saute these with no salt or seasoning for about three minutes to get the best flavor out of them. And then I'm going to go in with my garlic right at the end and just toast that for one minute. Then I will put in all the dry seasonings and I will toast it for about 30 more seconds. At this point, you're going to see that the fond at the bottom is going to be really dry. So it's time to put on some water just to loosen up all the flavor that's at the bottom of that pan. Okay. Now look. Go ahead and pop in your onion soup mixes and you're also going to put in your dry soup mix and this is going to be a delicious gravy. Now if you've been enjoying this video so far, go ahead and give me the thumbs up and subscribe for weekly recipes because honey, you can see we cooking, cooking and we throwing down around here, okay? And you don't want to miss any new recipe I put out because I post about two to three videos every single week. Now once I have added some water, I'm just putting in enough water to get the amount of gravy that I want, just enough to cover up the beef, okay? You want the beef fully immersed in the gravy when you go to cook it because you don't want it to dry out and you want it to be super tender and fall, you know, just be able to fork apart, baby. You know what I'm saying? That tender pot roast, okay? The one that your grandma with no teeth can eat, amen. Look, I'm going to turn it around in that gravy. I'm going to cover it up and I'm going to put this in a 325 degree oven for an hour and a half undisturbed. Now, after an hour and a half, I am going to open it up and I'm going to check on my meat. I'm going to toss it in the gravy, then I'll cover it up and I'll cook it for another hour and a half undisturbed and covered. Now let me just put y'all on game a little bit with these Gouda mashed potatoes. Y'all, this is so good and you really ain't got to do much more than you would be doing if you was making the regular mashed potatoes. But this just going to step it up a notch, you know what I'm saying? Take it to the next level. So let me put y'all on, alright. So I'm going to peel and chop my potatoes into some large chunks. But if you really like the skin on potatoes, you could actually leave that on as well. 
I have had some water boiling and I'm going to add a whole tablespoon of salt. And no, this is not too much salt. Potatoes are bland just like pasta. So you need it as salty as the sea up in there. All right. Now I'm going to show y'all a little kitchen trick that I use when I want to cook potatoes and green beans. I'm going to let the potatoes cook for about 15 minutes. And then the last five minutes, I'm going to go in there with my fresh green beans that I've already cleaned and trimmed. That way the potatoes and the green beans can cook in the same water and I ain't got to have two pots going. Now the trick to this is that you can't mix the green beans and the potatoes. That way when you go to fetch out your green beans, it's much easier to take them out. And for any of y'all wondering, no, this does not affect the taste of the potatoes at all. This is just an easier way to save time and to save effort in the kitchen. Once I drain those potatoes, I'm going to put in about a fourth of a cup of whole milk and a fourth of a cup of heavy cream. I put in four tablespoons of unsalted butter and then I'm going to allow that to melt. I like to season mine to taste with some white pepper. I will also use a little bit of garlic powder. That I only use the garlic powder when I do the cheese in it, okay? I have some Vegeta, just about a fourth of a teaspoon. This is totally optional. You will see little specks of the dried vegetable if you use the Vegeta. Um, some people may not like that, so you really don't have to use that, okay? Now I'm going to put in the Gouda cheese, and I will also be adding some sour cream. All right, I'm just going to do that to my own taste, okay? Um, I put in about four ounces of Gouda cheese and just about, you know, maybe about a half a cup of sour cream. You know, you know how potato mashed potatoes work. You just kind of feel it out and, and rot with it, okay? Once all of that has been melted, I'm going to go in with my potatoes and I'm going to first start out with a potato masher. But I find that if you want that really creamy, silky mashed potatoes, I really like to go in with a hand beater. Okay, and I just beat them around for a few minutes until your potatoes are smooth. And if you need to, just take a spatula, go around the edges and just knock out any extra lumps and you got some delicious potatoes. Now I have a pan and I'm going to melt a tablespoon of butter with about three cloves of garlic. And into this, I'm going to be adding my blanched green beans. I just drained the green beans. I did not put cold water on them because I wanted them to just, you know, I wanted them to stay hot. I'm then going to toss them in the hot oil and put on a little bit of salt and white pepper. That's all the seasoning you need on this. I just let this blister for about five minutes. Now at this point, my pot roast is done. It is fork tender, baby. Do you see this? Do you see what I see? Okay. Now I wanted mine to get a little bit more concentrated. So I just put mine in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes. That is totally optional. It just thickened up the gravy a little bit, but it's good no matter how you do it, dear. I hope y'all enjoyed this recipe. I know y'all will be back. I hope you know that I love you and Jesus loves you. And I just pray that you will be blessed. Let me know in the comments if you have a recommendation and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.